what we're doing is a batch conversion and we're renaming it. Now, to show you where we get to the batch, let me just get right here. We're going to start an earth and view. We'll go to file, batch conversion slash rename. Or you can just hit the letter B on your keyboard. From here, we're going to choose batch conversion rename result files. Our output formula is going to be a JPEG and then advanced options is what we're going to tick here. <coughs> we're going to resize these. If you're using a web gallery, a thousand pixels is plenty wide enough for people to look at. So we're going to hit resize and set the width value as a thousand, the height at 800. And then we'll go down here and make sure that preserve aspect ratio has been ticked. We'll also tick the use resample function that will give us just a little bit clearer better pictures there and then don't enlarge any smaller files over on the next column you'll see where it says add watermark image we'll click settings here these numbers 200 and 200 are where they're going to start from the bottom right and we'll go that far up 200 from the bottom right 200 from the bottom right let's make that 150 since we're dealing with a thousand pixels, we make that 150 and 150, and that's where the, the picture is going to start that you're watermarking with. Now we're going to choose our watermark here. <coughs> the one I'm using for Walkermore River Tools is Logo 250. Our transparency is zero, that means it's 100% opaque. You can set that uh, from zero to 100, which is clear. You can see that. And then We'll tick OK. We'll hit OK. Oh, let's go. Ah, we want to make sure we're not going to write over our images. So we're going to choose the output directory. Look in the current folder that we have, which is the watermark. Let's go up from watermark. This is where all of our pictures are. We're going to use the current look in, and then we're just going to type watermark. That will give us the new folder with all the watermark pictures. This That folder's already been created on my machine. On your machine, it will create itself when you do this. Now then, you also have the option to rename. And we're going to rename these Wakamaw River. And then the number signs indicate that it'll be number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. So now we've got our naming system, we've got our output formula, we've used our watermark, this is where we're going to place the files, and we have to add all of those pictures. Oh, let's see, did it put the folder in there as well? Hmm. We don't want that one, so we're going to remove that one. There we go. We go up to here. And then we hit start batch. There it goes. Jiggity, jiggity, jiggity. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. Now then, that's 280 photos in there. Takes quite some time, so we'll just stop and come back in just a moment. All right, so here we are now can see that we did 280 files, we had zero errors, and we had zero warnings. We're going to exit that batch, we're going to go to our original folder, which was right here. You can see all of our original files that do not have watermarks, and then we open up the watermark folder, and they're all in here. You pick any file at random, and you see we added, in that ping file that we uh, did, we added some chat... Oh, we added a white shadow around the black lettering so that it would stand out against any dark background. Got that in there. And so, there we have it. Boobity boobity boo. It's all done.